Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you some features that you may or may not have known that were on your iPhone 10. Starting with number one, the first thing you may not have known about is that you can access multitasking by swiping up and then to the right. Apple says that you can just hold it up and straight up and access the app switcher, but pretty much there is a faster way to just swipe up and to the right to make it a lot easier, especially when you're going through apps. Another feature you may not have known about is that reachability is still on the iPhone 10 even though we don't have a home button. And in order to access that, you want to head over to your settings, scroll down to general, and then go to accessibility, and scroll down all the way so you see reachability. Go ahead and toggle that on. And now, wherever you are, if you want to access reachability, see the home bar down here? Just go ahead and swipe down on it, and you can go ahead and bring down the screen halfway like reachability was. So let me go ahead and activate it again. Now you can activate control center if you can't reach it, or if you just need to go back, you can pretty much access it like that. Now, another hidden feature you may not have known about is getting a low light filter on your display. For example, when you're in a movie theater and you don't want your screen to be so bright. In order to do that, you need to go ahead and go over to the settings, scroll down the general once again, go down to accessibility, but instead of going uh, anywhere but here, you need to go ahead and go to zoom. Go ahead and turn on zoom and now it's going to be zoomed in in order to get out of this you need to three fingers just tap there we go and now once you're out of that go ahead and go down to the zoom filter now it's going to be on normal for you guys none and then you can invert it grayscale grayscale inverted or low light now what you want to do is you want to do low light and now pretty much if you go back to accessibility and go down to accessibility shortcut you can now toggle so clicking the button three times on the side, you can now bring up the menu to do smart invert, or if you can do the zoom, which will bring down that low light filter. So if you're in the movie theater, for example, just cl triple click and click zoom. And now you have a low light filter. Now, another thing that people don't realize with the iPhone 10 that we don't have a home button in order to wake up our device. We still have the power button, but we don't have anything else to wake up our device. So it does have the raise uh, to wake feature from the iPhone success, but it also has a new feature. You can go ahead and tap and it can now wake up your device. Now, another feature you may not know about is for people who love using the camera. So this camera can now go up to 4K 60 frames per second, but it's not enabled by default. Now, in order to enable that, you wanna go ahead and go back to your main menu, scroll down to camera. Now, this is where you have your camera settings. You can have record video, um, you can change your settings for recording video, and you can change your settings for recording slow-mo. For me, I have it recording 4K 60 FPS because I have a 256 gigabyte, so I have a lot of space. But let's say you got the 64 gigabyte and you don't wanna waste a lot of space. You can go down to 720p at 30 frames per second, which is still decent, but not the greatest. I would recommend if you do not have a lot of space to go to 1080p 30 frames, but if you have like a 256 and you don't really mind the space, uh, go ahead and go to 1080p 60 frames or 4K 60 frames. Uh, it's a much better um, video quality and it's honestly worth it if you do have the space. Now as well, you can change the slow-mo. You can change it from 1080p 120 frames or 1080p 240 frames. Now this one's only going to apply for the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8, I believe but you could still have the option to change it. So if you're looking for that better slow-mo, I would recommend changing it to 240 frames per second. Now, another cool thing that people don't know about is that you can preserve your settings when you go into the camera app. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you were to go to the camera app, uh, want to record a video and you wanted to have a filter on it, usually when you leave the camera app, it resets, you know, goes back to normal, goes back to the photo app with no filters or anything. And you can go ahead and keep those settings. So if you go over to the same settings where the uh, where you can edit the FPS and everything, go to preserve settings. You can keep um, you can change what you can preserve in your settings for your camera. So you can keep when you go back next time, you can keep your camera mode, your filter and lighting, or you can keep the live photos turned on or off. So now that these are all turned on, if I were to go, let's say, go to portrait mode, and I were to close out of the app. Now when I go back in, it should be still on portrait mode instead of going back to normal. Now if you are new to iOS 11 and or iPhones in general, um, you can now customize the control center to a certain extent. Before in iOS 10 and below, you had a set control center and you really couldn't customize it pretty much at all. But now with iOS 11, you now have a set um, availability to customize 
as much as you can. So in order to do that, go ahead and head over to your settings, go down to control center, go down to customize controls. Now in here, you can customize from flashlights pretty much to voice memos, text size, pretty much anything you can do in the settings, you can now add to the control center right here. Now as well in iOS 11, there is a new feature um, to move multiple app icons at the same time. So for example, let's say I want to move this one and this one over to the next page. Well, now I can hold on with one finger and now tap the other ones and now I have multiple icons moving at the same time. All right, guys, and that will be it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something new today. And if you did, if, if I missed anything, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, see ya.